Oh, uh, hey YouTube. Oof, there's really no easy way to say this, but, um, oh gosh, I don't even know if I can say this. Okay, here it goes. I bought this Mountain Dew today instead of making a vlog topic. I know, I'm a horrible person, I'm so sorry. Okay, so now that the confession's out of the way, on to today's non-existent topic. So today I spent the day mostly relaxing and hanging out with a friend because, sadly, this is my only day off of work the whole week, including weekends. It's a drastic horribility. Hor Horridability. I meant like horrible and then ability. Horrid not horribility. Horridability. You... So basically I woke up around 9 a.m., walked my dog Spike, who you probably all know, then I mowed my lawn, and then I kind of spent a few hours on the computer just talking to people. And you know things are really starting to take a shift when you spend more time on YouTube talking to people than on Facebook talking to people. And I can't say I mind the change, it's just the change. And you know, I embrace that kind of thing, so more power to this change. That was like a power to myself kind of thing, so you guys wouldn't really care about that, would you? I guess you, you could if I was talking to you and like you like that or whatever. Okay, tangent, sorry, my bad, my, my bad. I can't talk today at all. My bad. Okay, there. Now that's established. Moving on. So then I went to my friend's house because I figured, hey, I'm kind of getting bored of sitting here on the computer. Let's hang out with someone. And we basically watched uh, TV for about four hours straight and had pizza. Now, something you probably don't know about me is my parents have always not really liked me watching TV, even from like an early age. So we never had TV, really. We have local channels, and that's about it, which is pretty much just news. And I don't really watch the news on TV. I read them online over there on the computer. You can't really see that. Over there, on the computer. There you go. Okay, so basically, I don't really watch TV ever, and today I just kind of went over to my friend's house, and we just kind of watched TV. So it was like an, another interesting change for me. I just kind of sat there, and I was like, hey, this isn't too bad, except for... I swear, cartoons make you stupid. Like, honestly. I felt so much dumber after leaving the house watching cartoons for a while. So I had the pleasure of watching such shows as The Deadliest Catch, Extreme Makeover Home Edition, and Tosh.0. Oh. Now, Tosh.0, oh, I have to mention... I have mixed reviews on. I like it, but at the same time I don't like it. And I'll have to talk about that more tomorrow because I have a mixed opinion about this and I don't want to ruin the, today's vlog with my rant about this show. So, look forward to that tomorrow, I guess. My nose is itching again. Moving on, we ordered a pizza. I already said that earlier, but we ordered a pizza. And so I have my slice of pizza. This is my pizza, right? This is, this is a circular pizza. It was a slice of pizza, it was on my plate, and it was sitting on the couch next to me. It wasn't circular, I was just making a circular thing with my hands because I'm really stupid. I'm not stupid, I just make stupid stuff. Mistakes gestures, whatever. Okay, back to the topic. My pizza's sitting there on the couch, right? And I'm watching TV, and all of a sudden their dog, who is a mighty huge golden retriever, might I add, named Lucky. Quite an original dog name, huh? Anyway, so he walks by nonchalantly like, oh, hey, I'm a, I'm a dog, what's up? And he looks at my pizza, and he looks at me, and I was like, what, do you want a piece or something? And he just goes, Bruh. that was my dog impression of him grabbing the pizza in his mouth, one bite, the entire extra large piece of pizza, gone. He swallowed the whole thing, one bite. Whole freaking piece of pizza. I didn't even know that was possible until today. My phone's going off in the distance. I don't know if you can hear that. I can hear it. But your, your ears might not be good enough. You're getting old. You're, getting, you're an old camera. What can I say? I'm going to replace you soon. Not well, Oh gosh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm not going to replace you. Shh. Close your ears. Cover your ears. Those are like your eyes. You don't really have ears. Oh. You don't have eyes either, technically. You have an iris, a lens. Today I'm getting off topic just so much. Okay, so, regardless, last story for today. Inspired by this random Facebook conversation over here, I'm just off camera now showing you two screenshots. So the story starts when I had asked her to send me her number because I'd lost it from my phone, because I don't usually save people as contacts, I'm too lazy, and she called me a number loser or something like that. And so I was obviously offended by this because I'm no number loser. My phone just deletes my number sometimes. It's not my fault. So I was like uh, talking to her today and she goes, hey, can you send me your, your number to my phone? And I said, why is that? And she goes, well, because I lost my phone. And yeah, so I called her a number loser back. Ha, Marissa, if you're watching this, got you back. And she claims her phone fell in the pool. No excuse. You just, you just can't lose my number like that. I mean, come on. I don't care if your phone's at the bottom of a pool. Fish it out. Fix it. You're smart, aren't you? Are you, Marissa? I just alienated every single person in my audience except for Marissa, who probably isn't even going to watch this video, so... There you go, Marissa. Okay, so what I was going to talk about the story, too, I'm going to relate this to my own life now. Imagine it's Christmas of last year, but imagine it's like in the present. So, you're waking up and it's Christmas of last year. So, you just got your first phone in a while because your phone was taken away because when you were in seventh grade, you were very stupid and actually ran up your bill by a thousand dollars because you just called everybody because 
you were in seventh grade and having a phone was awesome, so you called people. So you have this new phone, and you keep it in your coat pocket because it's winter time, and so you're getting home one night, you're tired, you forget your phone's in your coat pocket, right? So you're taking off your coat, you're taking it off in the laundry room, and all of a sudden, oh no, the phone just fell out. And where does it land? Of all places in the place where my dog gets his paws washed. Soapy water. Needless to say, the phone broke on contact, and I was very, very distraught, beyond distraught, because I was like, oh my gosh, my phone is broken. The world is over. But my dad, being the smart person that he is, decided to call the phone company the next day. He got insurance for my phone, and so we waited a few days, took the phone back to the store, and we basically got a replacement phone for free because we had the phone insured after it was broken. Smart move, Dad. And with that, I'm going to leave you guys with a good night because I'm going to go watch Emily the Braves, who's over here, uh, live blog TV show because it started like, I don't even have a watch, but I just checked my arm. About 10 minutes ago. That's my guess. So I'm going to go do that, and I hope you guys had fun watching today's rant, blog, thing, with a lot of errors and typos, verbal typos, and weird gestures, and tangents off the point of nothingness, because this vlog has a non-existent point. I already said that. Good night. Extreme maker, or the, okay, we probably should redo that one. Catch, Extreme Home Make, Extreme. The pleasure of watching such shows as The Deadliest Catch, Extreme Homemaking, Extreme Makeover Home Edition. I can't say that right, ever.